Hello and welcome back to Nuston Farm. We, this morning, are mowing our lawn. We need to get that mowed. We've got ourselves this new mower tractor, the John Deere 2032. And uh, yeah, lovely tractor indeed to cut the grass on. We have got a grass collection box, we're going to dump the grass in the field and drill over it, it will go in, do the soil good. So we need to get ourselves down here and get this lawn mowed and get the grass collected. We'll dump it in the field where we will incorporate it into the soil with the drill. That is adding a bit of nutrient to the soil, not a lot, but uh, best to throw it in there than to waste it. Yeah, this is a new tractor that was delivered after you joined us yesterday. And a nice size tractor for mowing the lawns mows pretty quickly as well so uh, not too long mowing the lawn I want to get one more mowing done before the winter sets in we are right on the edge of winter now late autumn here on Luston Farm so uh, Getting this lawn cut is going to be a great way to spend the day. It is the last cut of this season and then in the spring we will come back and get the rest of the, get another cut on the lawn in the spring but we've still got good bit of drilling left to do. We came in and did this, started this yesterday evening when the rains came. You probably saw in the last video we, did, we put out for you that rain was forecast. Uh, with that rain appearing we took the walls out as well because things were getting a bit tight around the yard. We have also got some Materials to get sold to make ourselves a bit of money. We have still got some wheat and barley in the in the dryer. We have at the moment got seven thousand six hundred pounds, and once we sell some of the crops off, of course, we've got the next instalment of the loan to to pay off. As you may remember, we had a crop failure and got insurance money for that. And also took out a loan and sold some tractors to expand the farm. Going forward, we want to get another tractor on the farm for doing the baling and stuff like that. We are, we have had Tom Thumb Agricultural Advisory Service in and they recommend even though we're doing a no-till on the farm get the brony arrow which just rakes the top of the soil and put some oilseed radish in 
and leave one field to set aside so bring the map up for you and you see field 11 there which is at the back of us at the back of the yard that is going to be arrowed by the brony arrow and we'll have some all seed radish put in and be left to set aside the Tom Thumb Agricultural Advisory Service really working well and hopefully we will gain a bit in crops in one field each year we was wondering how we could do it and uh, the brony arrow which although you're doing a bit of tilling it's only raking as much of the topsoil as what a drill does so everything's going to be fine with that this grass has got fairly long it's I've got a little grass collecting trailer done with a mulching mower with this but they didn't have one in stock so we have got an old Alice Chalmers grass collecting box that we can put behind it, collect the grass up and dump it in the fields and the drill should then incorporate it into the soil could put it on the set aside field of course and put it in with the brony arrow which may be the better way of going give the grass time to rot into the soil get the worms taking that in now we've got everything here we have that's the grass all mode so now we shall put our trailer on it's just here we've got it hidden up on the edge of the lawn here and which way round have we left this trailer uh, that wasn't the trailer, that was a bunch of weeds. So where have we put the trailer? It is down this... Ah, there it is. I see it. Now, yeah, drilling tractor there. Was left there last night. We did fill it up. Ready for rolling again. So we will... Oh, we've got a bit more grass to cut here as well. We'll just shift this grass arrow. Grass collector out of the way a little there we go drop that there it does this tractor does go too well on that hill but uh, you just want to collect up the rest of this grass there we go just need to get the last of this grass mowed off this is in the weeds here it's going to be left but just tidy up the edge near the house and that is the grass now finished <coughs> we did correct a bit of the grass up just to check that the grass box worked okay and there we go we've got the grass collection going it is a little bit rough around this edge of the house we had to build the soil up to get the grass collecting box working as well. Now, there we go. Now you will see the grass collection box is now working nicely. Now we've got a lot of grass here. This is going to have to go steady through here to make sure we can collect it all up. We want the lawn tidy, so... Uh, go right down this outside edge just to make sure we've got all the grass collected and so here we go grass collection box does hold a good bit of grass in it so it's working pretty well so we'll go around the corner here in the shadows of the house 
and spin ourselves around. And this is a nice little mowing tractor. There is a front loader attacher you could buy for it and put a little John Deere loader on the front, but we don't need that. It's only going to be used for mowing the lawns. Now we need to spin ourselves around, get this last piece out of here. Now I just make sure we've got all of the grass from the front of the house. Don't want to be paddling grass into the house at any time. Collect this up and then we shall get into the main part of the lawn again. Need to keep this lawn in good condition. Somewhere for the kids to play. Hope you like our new mowing tractor, brand new 2018-2019 type tractor. And we are running into 2019 anytime soon, so it is late 2018, but it is a 2018 stroke 2019 tractor. We've got one early. John Deere wanted to get people to see them. And spin around. Go back down this breed. We are getting a good bit of grass in here now. direction. It is a little bit shaded here with the sun. It is only 25 past 8 in the morning of course so uh, those trees blocking the sun off the lawn a little at that end. You'll get all this grass raked off and then we'll get the drill back running again while it's fine. No talk of any rain for today so hopefully fingers crossed it will stay fine and we can get some drilling finished and we'll do the same again at this end and just spin around at the end here get the <coughs> little odd bits of grass collected up just on here there's an odd piece which was out of row with the rest and now we spin ourselves into the next row here we go So we'd show this instead of doing this and then going dr drilling because you've seen some drilling just breaks it up a little for you and uh, now we shall go around collecting grass we are almost full so now we're going to have to There we are, we are full. We'll take it into the set-aside field and tip it out. Good thing about this mowing tractor, it is pretty quickly. Pretty quick, so... Uh, go along pretty quickly. There we go, and we've got bit of grass there. And back down to the lawn and continue our grass collection. 
bit of gravel at this end of the field as well, so... Uh, just get this piece off this end that we missed earlier. Making the lawn look nice and tidy this. We've got a bit rough just on that edge, but uh, got to admit the lawn looks nice. Once it's cut, and, uh, I know people are hoping for Oakfield Farm to come out. That won't replace this. This will carry on a little while longer until Meadow Grove comes out. Oh well, Manor's continuing along as the live stream map. Nice. Where tonight we shall be getting our potatoes planted and getting some new. Got to sell some stuff. Get, got to do a bit of buying, bit of selling, wheeling and dealing. Pretty much as we go through tonight. We've got to sell some crops off to get some more seed we need to we may well have some savage pigs on Marwa Manor try them out delete sell the cows sell all the equipment for the cows and buy the savage pig shed it's not cheap and the pigs themselves aren't cheap, they are a rare breed pig and you get more money for them but the obviously costs you more to set the farm up with pigs in the first place this grass collecting we'll get one more trailer and empty it in the field and then we shall finish the video there this afternoon, I'm recording this on Friday, but you're watching it on Saturday. This afternoon, there is the first episode on the new series on Cobra Park Farm. We're starting off set in 1960. So, you may not have your favourite tractors in yet. I know Memorabilia Lane likes the Massey Ferguson 135 but they didn't come out until 1964 so that will be a few years away from getting that on the farm I think the 148 came out in the 70s so uh, that's a little way off yet I'm going to try and keep as much stuff as we can accurate to the year that we started and uh, right, so we've got all the Edland rows off this end so we're just up and down rows left yeah we we're saying we've got the starting equipment is two Massey Ferguson 35s okay IMT whatever's but they are basically a Massey Ferguson 135 so we are using them as such 
a Ports and Super Major and an old Dewitz on the farm. We have got a Volkswagen Beetle, which we shall keep until such time that something else comes along with the right era, although the Volkswagen Beetle could last for a long while. So we are almost finished collecting up the grass now. So not for long before we finish collecting the grass. That's when we shall leave you and uh, go back around this next breed just here. short breed here to collect up. One more breed to collect up. We should get it into the trailer okay. We're 83% full. Hopefully it will collect all this up in one pass. It certainly is. So we hope you've enjoyed this lawn care video. Please give it a like, give it a share, drop us a comment. If you're new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon, that will tell you when we do these videos, when we do our live streams. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye for now. Bye bye.